something lined up for you. Our special guest later on this morning will be Gillen. We've also got Pop Personality Past the Pie featuring Toya, amongst other luminaries. We'll be giving away a complete CB rig a little bit later. Also, John McCoy from Gillen will be here to give away a bass guitar. There's cartoons galore. And we'll be asking the burning question, if you crossed Helen of Troy with Tommy Cooper, would you get a fez that launched a thousand ships? Welcome to another edition of Pop Personality Pass the Pie. And let's first of all meet those personalities taking part. Hello, Toya, how are you today? I'm all right, thank nice you. Nice to see you, looking fighting fit there. Hi. Here's Simon from Duran Duran, John McCoy from Ian Gillen's band, and over here we have Therese. Okay, Therese, Hello. nice to see you're dressed yeah. for the part. Yeah. And over on the end here, Sketch from Lynx. I know you all understand the rules, but the Phantom is lurking in case you should drop the pie. Let me check everything is okay with the band. Everything all right, Rick, sir? Yes, yes, fair enough. thank you very much. Good, you're not all all right? No. Good, all right. fine. Well, you're looking in fine fettle over there, so let me hand the pie to Toya and off we go then. Music, please. <laughs> choice. Yeah. Having failed totally to correctly pass the pie, you now have the choice of staying in the game or being eliminated. What would you like to do? I'll stay in the game! Yeah! Great! A new pie, please! A new pie! Off we go again, Rick! I'm afraid that's the end of you, John. Can we eliminate you from the game, please? Here's a new pie. Off we go. Hello, welcome back. And as you join us, we are taking part. Many of the members of the yeah. audience have just tried to be the traditional Halloween past well of the first time. Well Apple Bobby. Uh, we're taking no chances. We have Sylvester here as a lifeguard just hanging around. I see Dougie from Bad Manners is in, and he's got his own version, yes. which is, of course, Pickled Onion Bobby. How many have you managed to How many have you got? Oh, I don't know. That's, and that's the end here. We've got Ian Gillen having a go. That long hair getting in the way, Ian. Oh, this is Dennis. Oh, it's Dennis. Oh, 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 it's smashing. Oh, you've got very wet. You're very wet. Let him dry up. Well, that's going on. I'd like to say a very happy birthday to Stephen Wilkes in Merthyr. Well, happy birthday, Steve. You share your birthday on this International Magic Day with Tom O'Connor and Jimmy Savile. I'd also like to thank, I think this is special, I'd like to thank Mitchell Donnelly, Mitchell Donnelly, who sent us all an invitation to his birthday party Aww. tomorrow at four o'clock in Moseley, Birmingham. Mitchell, we can't actually make it, but thanks very much for the invitation anyway. That was absolutely smashy. Well, we get some absolutely spiffaroo letters in these days. Dear Tiswas, says Simon Tebbit, I'm writing to say, could you please send me a Year of the Flam badge and a Tiswas badge, because I collect badges like you do, Gordon. I think your programme is absolutely fabulous, but my mum does not think so, but so what? <laughs> So what, what indeed? indeed? Well done, Simon. Age like eleven and a half. I'm from Jeffrey Drummond. That said, my mum likes to watch Swap Shop with their posh collar and ties, but I like to watch Tiswas with their flying custard pies. The Phantom's very dangerous. The Phantom's very quick. If you don't get out of his way, he'll plaster you so thick with dunge beans and mushy peas and his lethal custard pie. So Sally, Dan, and Gordon, you better say goodbye. There is no moral to this poem, but if you use some common sense, keep away from the studio and stay behind the camera lens. Well, actually, Jeffrey, it's not strictly true that behind the camera lens is the safest place, as I will prove as I go for camera three. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! One of Miss Sally Jones's almost legendary pop interviews. Hello and a big welcome to Ian Gillen. Hi there. Hello. Nice
nice of you to pop in and see us. You've you had an amazingly <laughs> busy year. You've just come back from Japan and Australia, haven't yeah, you? That's how, did, right. how did you enjoy that? It was amazing, really good, yeah. Very and, exciting. And very hot. Yeah. And wet. Was it? Yeah. Mm. It didn't stop raining for the moment we left home. Just like England. Exactly. You can't have got home sick. And you um, you started a British tour last night, didn't That's you? That's right. Well, you're doing 44 dates or something ridiculous. Yeah, approximately. Yeah. I mean, Gillan, you you often always said is a touring band. I mean, how much of the time of the how much of the year, in fact, do you spend on the road? Well, it goes in in generally we do about 200 shows a year, but. It doesn't. It's not that difficult, really. I mean, people seem to think it's a lot of hard work, but well, it is, we really I mean, enjoy it. Then. But the travelling is so tiring, don't you think? Well, yeah, the really long flights. But I mean, it's not. You get used to it, really. Yeah. There's been a lot read, written in the press actually about this uh, this plan of yours to uh, do a world tour, but do it on a on a ship. Mm. I mean, how possible and feasible is that? It's actually in operation now. We're starting to plan it. We've got a lot of the financing going already. Yeah. We need sponsors, obviously, and we've. Quite a few lined up. But it's much more than just a tour. We're going to make a film, and uh, we'll be doing TV documentaries and books and everything else. I mean, it'll be a, an event. Ha when will it happen, and how long will it take? 84, 85, about a year to 18 months. So you've got to plan that, that, that far ahead, really. Yeah, we you? have to yeah. now to yeah. get the ships and everything else lined up. Yeah. I doubt if it'll be one ship all the way around, but it'll be uh, it'll be pretty much like regular tours on the continents. But we'll be taking shows to places where they haven't had music before. It's a real adventure, then, isn't it? Oh yeah, very yeah. exciting. Yeah. I've never grown up anyway. <laughs> Uh, it's nine years ago, well, eight years ago, since, in fact, that you left uh, Deep Purple. Mm. Uh, and really, you, you, you left the music business then, didn't you? For a when, year. For yeah. a while. And mm. you really must have had to start all over again. And how difficult was that? Well, it, very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to relearn a lot of things you've forgotten. Um, but it's important, I think, having gone through something like Purple, you feel you've got something to prove. And so you've got to go in with both eyes open and... Uh, Really, it's a challenge to keep aware of what's going on around you. You could very easily s settle down and just rely upon things you've done in the past, but uh, you always try to avoid that. Also, the other amazing fact, I know from when we, we spoke before, was that you, in fact, left Deep Purple, a band that generated millions of pounds, and you were virtually broke, weren't you? Yeah, well... Which seems unbelievable, really. I don't know. There's an embarrassment of riches in other areas, actually. I, I, I don't really... The people talk about astronomical figures in terms of money, but... Uh, it just looks that way. It all seems to go on one thing or another. Yes, absolutely. But you, you would think at the end of it that you'd at least end up financially set up, really. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not too bad. I've got a studio out of it. Yeah. Mm. Now, you've got a new album, like Double Trouble, uh, mm. half a live album, half a, a studio album. Mm. I gather, in fact, that when you first recorded the studio album, you took the tape away and you didn't like it, did you? I threw it out the window of the car, actually. And it's still probably somewhere on the hard shoulder of the M4 now. Um, no, it took me two or three weeks to really get to like this album because... Uh, it was the first time we've used a producer. Yeah. And we've got fixed ideas in our minds. I think musicians often fall into the trap of wanting to hear things their particular way, whereas, whereas um, perhaps it's not the best way for the majority of people to hear it. But then you so now I'm delighted with it. I'm absolutely But it moon. took you a while to, to, to get into yeah. it. Yeah, and I think we'll stick with the producer now for, for good. Right. OK, uh, thank you, Ian. We're going we're to be giving away a bass guitar and a Gillen flag, in fact, in just a minute. But let's see your current... Uh, Top 40 single, and here it is. It's Nightmare from the Get on the first of the fly. There's someone hot on my tail. Who's blowing up the maze of the
are you oh. doing? John. What am I doing? I've just uh, introduced my son here. That's my daddy. Are Luke, you two we, related? Yes, we well, don't we look at each other, don't yeah. we? John McCoy. Well, he's yes, got two eyes and a nose. Yes, I can see. The real McCoy. Yes, Me, not very me. nice. It's my daddy. Yeah. Uh, John, uh, <laughs> we saw you daddy, play pop I? personality past the pie earlier. What a performance that was! Thank you, thank you. Uh, and you brought along this bass guitar to give Yes, away, I brought you? this uh, guitar. <laughs> so oh, just a minute. What's happened to it? Well, it, uh, it went out soon. Okay. It's sort of. Uh, did you get rather aggressive last night and smash it up? So that's what you're giving away, is Yes, it? it's... Uh, obviously well okay. worth winning, folks. <laughs> obviously well worth winning. What do they have to do to win this? We've also got the Gillen flag yes, that's right. being well, uh, flag massacred by the kids behind us. OK, what do they have to do to win this wonderful... And how can I say how generous you are in bringing this along to give away on Tis Was? What do they have to do to win it? Uh, there's a question. <laughs> yes, And yes. the question is... Yes. We have a new guitarist in the band. Yes. You have to write in and say what his name is. Yes. And where he and I worked together before he joined the band. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I understand that. Entries to our usual address, which you obviously all know the address by now. It was ATV and I'm Birmingham, B12JP. Thanks again for that. That's all right. Fabulous. And thank you, Ian. I know you're, you're so. in Leeds tonight, aren't you? Yep. Have a good one then. Thank and you. thanks for I dropping in. Night. are getting heavier. Thanks very much. Uh, last week, uh, Bruce Panel was here and he brought along this set of leathers, his own set of leathers, and he asked a question to win it. And the question was, who was the American national champion... <laughs> Oh, that was John McCoy getting a custard pie there. Who was the American national champion in 1972? Dan, don't leave Ian out here. He'll be very upset. Uh, the American uh, oh, yeah. national champion in 1972 was Rick Woods. And hang on, there's a Gillen pie coming up. Oh, the whole family. And the winner is Paul Levick from West Derby in Liverpool. But now, for sporting fans everywhere, here's Sport of World.